welcome to another video. On this week uh, tech tutorial, I'm going to be starting my second uh, video on the OBS series. I'm going to be showing you how to uh, create some scenes uh, in OBS and how to uh, set up your OBS uh, to be able to live stream to YouTube. So let's start off by starting OBS first. Now in OBS there, there's a default uh, scene um, to begin with and um, here you, where you could add several sources uh, to display on your screen so kind of like uh, let's just say you may want to stream your games you could add a screen uh, game capture or you uh, want to show people how to do certain things on the desktop you will have a display capture or a desktop capture or uh, you want to just you know have a webcam to to uh, show people um, you know want to talk to your audience you know you could add a webcam or you could add a combination of two or three of these things uh, either a webcam with a game capture uh, or you know or you want to run a video with a webcam capture uh, you know uh, a whole bunch of things you could do uh, in this scene so in this scene, we're gonna just going to add a simple webcam. So you will go to add, which is this button here, and go to video capturing device, uh, which is what a webcam is, a video capturing device. And um, if you have one created for your webcam, you could just select it, but uh, this is a new screen, so we would just select uh, video capture. And um, here's my webcam, you know. Um, it's a pretty low-end webcam. Uh, nowadays they have webcam that is HD. Um, Mine is kind of like a standard, um, standard um, quality or low-end quality. I usually want to uh, do custom settings on it and make sure I have the highest resolution selected as possible for it. Um, but I. Uh, your webcam um, may already you know have HD resolution so you probably don't need to change it but for, for me I uh, need to change mine being that it's lower end okay and here's uh, what the webcam looks like um, of course you could play around with the window and stretch it out you know, make it smaller make it larger depending on what size you want it and also um, you could uh, right click on uh, your source and go to transform and you could stretch it to screen where it fill up the whole screen now as you see here it's kind of you know make me kind of distorted so you could always go back to transform and go to fit to screen instead of stretch it so as you see uh, fit to screen looks uh, a lot better so that's what we're going to be using now uh, you can add another scene um, for your web for your game capture um, or you want to show a video or you want to show a website uh, you could have a browser capture to show a website um, there's so much things you could you could do in these scenes uh, one thing I'm gonna be showing you is like let's just say you're doing a stream right now and you get a phone call and or nature calls and you want to need to run to the bathroom real quick uh, you can always uh, create a pause screen um, so that people not just gonna just watch a empty uh, a empty you know um, you know uh, webcam with just nobody in it just an empty room uh, also you could also make a scene like uh, like let's just say you just start your screen your stream and you want to wait for people to come in so you will have like a standby screen or um, or um, like an intro screen like an intro scene to wait for people to come into the chat rooms uh, before you start streaming so you can also do that so uh, we're gonna create a pause scene so you would just add scene and you would name it uh, pause or whatever you want to name it to you know if you make an intro screen you will call it intro screen 
and here you would add some sources um, I said uh, you can add images uh, I'm gonna add a video clip so you will go here and you would just say video clip or whatever you know, stream you want to add so you go here you could have your video clip go in a loop or just play once and then stop and then the screen will just go blank but for our purpose we're gonna have it go in a loop and I have it on the desktop. And just go, okay. Now here's the um, the video clip running. Uh, I could have it, you know, stretch out um, to uh, fit the screen. So also you may want to add some text so you will go add and you will add a text source so you'll go here add text source and you'll call this text and you could change the font you know um, to whatever font you like to use I gotta use my, uh, my official font for um, My channel and you could just type in something like Andy live and will be right back a couple of dots you know just hit OK now of course you could resize it and put it in the middle here you know, or you could like go here and just you know go to transform it to you know uh, fit the screen or you know like click here and go to you know center to screen or you go center to screen or, you know uh, we don't want it to take up too much of the screen, let's make it a little smaller and just um, move it just like that. Of course you could also go back into properties and you could change the cutter. Um, I gotta change mine to yellow cutter. And of course, you know, um, you could, you know, center it. So, just like that. Uh, you can also add some music, so you go add add me another media source, and you can call this media source music, and you just go okay, and then you you know have your whatever music you're running at, on a loop, so you would just go here and select an MP3 or something, or you have a playlist, you can select a playlist and. And it will have music playing in the background. It will not show here. It will not play here. Um, but when you do a record or when you uh, hit the live stream, it would play during the live stream and during the record. Uh, to know if the music is playing it, it, over here on the mixer, uh, there would be a, a additional. Uh, like this would be the name of uh, the source and they would show you know activity going on like there's music going on here you could control the volume if it's you feel is too loud in the stream or in the coin you could lower it a bit so so that's how you make a pause screen now if, let's just say you're in your webcam blah 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 something happens you need to go you know uh, take care of something uh, click on the pause screen and uh, go take care of what you take care of so and people will be listening to music or uh, hearing uh, or watching a, a, a video clip of some sort uh, while you are going to take care of business and when you come back you can always go back to your stream again now over here you could change the duration and the transition uh, how you want um, how you want your scenes to transit and the uh, over here you can change uh, 
you know the the time. Now, uh, if you want a more slower transition, you could go, you know, 10 seconds, and then when you click here, it has a little, it's slow, it's a more slower transition. See? So, um, next we're gonna go show you uh, how to um, do live stream. So let's go to our YouTube channel, and um, I gotta show you uh, what you need to do uh, on there. Okay, uh, here's my channel. What we would need to do is go into uh, Creator Studio. Click on live streaming. Now here is where you could uh, set uh, your settings for your live stream. Over here you could change your thumbnail to something else if you want. Uh, you could type up you know a little title and the description of your live stream. You could schedule when you want a live stream. Uh, you could set the privacy of it uh, public so it would show to everybody on your uh, on YouTube or if you just want to do some testing or you just want to just to stream to just a few people you will go to uh, unlisted and private will just be um, would not shown to anywhere it's usually probably for testing purposes is where you would you know set to private um, the most important setting here is the stream key the stream key is very important Try not to expose it too often because if anybody have access to your stream key, they pretty much could have access to stream into your uh, YouTube channel. So be careful with this. What we need to do is uh, reveal it, copy it, and hide it. Like I said, if you suspect somebody already have this key and they already start streaming to your channel without you know you can always go into reveal and reset it to something else but uh, like I said try not to um, this uh, this piece of information is very important try not to uh, be so likely you know hand it out or anything like that uh, otherwise people could stream to your channel all right now you're going to your OBS you go into settings, you go into streams. Now, the streaming service we're going to be selecting is YouTube, so you will go to service, you select uh, YouTube, and here is where you uh, paste your, uh, your stream key. Hit apply. The output, the settings here. Make sure the output mode is uh, advanced so you could uh, adjust the settings here. Now if you have a high-end video card, I suggest you use the video card for your encoding. Otherwise, just leave it as it is. Because if you have a video card to do the encoding work, that would be a less strain on your CPU for other things. So if you have a high-end video card, use the high-end video card to encode. Also, bitrate is another important thing. Um, if you have uh, low-end internet, like uh, 3 megabits to 5 megabits, um, you may want to lower this or leave it as it is. Um, but if you have, you know, 100 megabits or you know even a gigabit, uh, some places have gigabit internet, then you could actually increase it. But try not to do, try not to increase it too much. Because you, you want to take into consideration, you know, how many people in the house are using the internet and, you know, and plus, you know, the traffic on YouTube and all that is a factor. So, uh, if you have a high-end internet, you could increase it to, you know, 5,000 or so or 4,000. But I'm going to just set mine to 3,000. That's for a balance. Uh, constant bit rate is okay. Um, like I say, if you have a higher end, you may want to go various bit rate. But also, um, okay, for those who don't have a high end video card and they're using the CPU to do the encoding, um, 
this setting here would control uh, how much uh, the CPU you're going to be used to do the encoding. Now, if you're going to be r running high-end games, uh, I suggest you to to increase it so that you could, or to lower it actually to uh, make it go uh, faster, so you could use just CPU uh because your game is requiring all the cpu but i would think if you were going to be playing high-end games then most likely you will have a high-end video card so it's not really you probably won't be seeing this setting but if you are um but then again maybe you would use the video card to play the high-end game and you, you would configure an encoding to uh to do the work of uh OES. so maybe you would you know, have a high-end game and you would use the video card to do most of the work and you would set it to the encoding to uh, use software encoding. And in that case, you would uh, set the CPU uh, how you want it. Um, but these are like the three important settings, the encoding, uh, the bitrate, and the CPU usage. So once you have that all set, now I need to set mine to um, 3000 so supply Hit OK and uh, we're gonna just do a private uh, session just for testing purposes and let's start a stream Now it's in here, started. Now this is how you know it's working. You can see it on the site. So um, we do the transition on here. So uh, there you go, that's how you um, set up uh, OBS for live streaming and, um, and how to create scenes that you can use for your live streams. If uh, you have any questions, um, leave it in the comment below. And I would tr try to help you uh, answer them as best as I can. And uh, hit the subscribe buttons to uh, keep up to date of uh, upcoming videos. Uh, hit the notification button to get notified of uh, upcoming videos. Uh, as well, like this video if uh, you like this tutorial and find it helpful. As always, have a nice day. I see you on the next video. Take care.